Good morning. It is a Friday, which is my favorite. We got a busy day today. We do have a snowstorm on the way. You can kind of hear the wind. It's it's coming in now. Should start snowing within the hour, but I need to run out. I'm gonna make a down payment on that dump body that I showed you guys a few videos back. So I'm gonna do that first, and I got a bunch of stuff to do. I'll just take you along today. I already took the trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. Annie. Showtime. Annie. She doesn't want to work again. Look. She's chasing leaves. Come on. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Well, I was going to go grab some coffee first, but I just looked at the radar and the snow is just about here and I got quite a drive to the truck repair place so I'm gonna drive out there first try to beat the snow it'll probably be snowing but I want to beat driving in the heavy snow for the most part and then I'll come back here and go visit quick trip it looks heavy though you could see some reds and yellows mixed in I don't know if you can see that right below where the snow is, where it's changing over to rain. It's gonna be all snow by us, but it's only supposed to snow for about four to five hours. So they're talking like two to three inches, but we'll see what happens. All right, we made it to the mechanic. The snow is coming down hard. It's not sticking to the pavement yet, but it's about to. I'm glad we didn't stop for coffee first. Hello. Uh, I'm just putting down a deposit for some work. Who's it for? Uh, Victory Outdoor Services. Oh. All right, now we can head back and grab some coffee. It's coming down pretty good. It's going to start sticking pretty quick here. Really quick. It already is. It's already starting to ice up. And it just started, so I want to hustle back. I mentioned when I initially came here that if the box was under 40000 I was going to be surprised. And it did come in just under forty k. So I was happy about that, so I gave him the work. Uh, his name is Steve. He seems like a great guy, real nice. Even though it's a little bit of a drive, the first guy, actually the first two people that I went to, uh, they just won't give me a bid for whatever reason. I don't know. It's only been snowing for about 10 minutes. It's already sticking on the sides of the roads there. So it's going to start building up pretty quick. Come on, man. It's almost nine, dude. You should be in the shop. I know. Thank you. <laughs> that guy there, he owns the embroidery shop where I get my stuff done. Okay, I am back at the yard and I made a mistake when I built this shed. I'll show you what happened. Super windy. So over here, this strap broke that pulls on that front edge and it was rubbing on this concrete and it rubbed right through the material and it rubbed right through the strap and it broke. So that's obviously a problem and more than that is the strap is broke inside the seam right there so i got a retriever tool it's a mechanics retriever tool kind of like a magnet when you drop a bolt or whatever down in the engine but this one has a little claw i'm gonna try to grab it with this uh, i doubt i'm gonna be able to pull it with this the other idea was to um, take some type of dowel and uh, if it's steel weld a little sharp edge on it and put it up there and try to grab that and pull it through. I don't know if this is going to be strong enough to hold on. I doubt it, but I figured I would just try this first. Might get lucky, but if not, <clears throat> if I if I can get something sharp to stab into that end of strap, kind of twist it around, and I can get a good grip on it and pull it through. Now it's about a foot short. Ah. Wow. 
can't even pull it with my hand. I'm gonna get a vice grip. It's a lot harder to pull than I thought it was gonna be. Ugh, come on. I think if I can get this out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unstrap this one and then put this one and these into the same ratchet. If I could even get it down that far, I need like another eight inches or so. Let's we'll see. Put these all together. Triple it up. If I can get them all through here. All right, I got them all through. That's pretty easy actually. I'm just gonna tighten this down and. That'll be good for now. I'm sure some of you are wondering where Daryl is. And all I have to say about that is, that's a good question. <sighs> it's pretty miserable outside right now. All right, I'm gonna run to my bank. I have to do some transferring of money for that box. I just wrote a big check for that box. And then I have to go to my church because the church is one of the places that I plow and right now they have stuff all over the parking lot. It's our Christmas program. So there are light strands and extension cords and all that and I need to take a look at that before I start plowing everything up. All right, I am here at my church and this is the front parking lot. <clears throat> it's got light stranding and extension cords running, running all over the place. <laughs> It's going to be a challenge trying to get the snow out of here for sure. I'm just going to have to be careful and do this myself for sure. Hey, it's my son. Hi, Sonny. Need a ride? No. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. All right, I just stopped at my bank and you can see the roads have deteriorated. When it's snowing this hard, it builds up quick. So they're saying now two to four inches, they raised it from one to three inches. And it is really, really slippery snow. I know that sounds funny, but depending on the moisture content of the snow and the temperature of the road, uh, it can be more or less slippery as you're driving. And today it's particularly slippery. I just came around the corner, my whole truck went sideways and I was barely going five or so miles an hour so you got to be careful super careful driving in this stuff this reminds me of my trip down south to alabama last winter basically driving in conditions like this for i don't know six to eight hours that was terrible <laughs> i think that semi stuck i don't think he can make it up the hill Or he just hit this car. Oh yeah, the semi hit the car. Or the car hit the semi, one or the other. It starts, winter in Wisconsin, here we go. Man. <laughs> I used to do a lot of plowing. We had a lot of accounts. We did Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, which is enormous. And we used to be really busy snow plowing, but I backed out of it. Uh, because it is stressful, you know, the summertime I'm pouring concrete, that's stressful enough. And then in the wintertime, especially when you're depending on a bunch of guys to help you that really don't want to come in, they don't want to be there. Some of them don't show up, just like in the summer. It's a, it's a real headache. So I back down. Now I, I only do a, you know, a couple places, a few places, a bunch of driveways. Here comes a city plow truck right now, Menominee Falls. Pushing some snow. All right, I'm back from the bank. You can see the snow is starting to pile up. It's 10.30 in the morning. Probably have a solid inch, I would say, so far. What I'm gonna do is 
I'm going to take the skid loader. I'm going to load up the salt truck. It's nice to have the salt truck under that tarp. I can load it up. I don't have to worry about it freezing or anything. Then later when I need it, I can just start it up and take off. I'm going to get this started, let it warm up for a minute. Go grab the skid loader, let that warm up. You already know the 7.3 is going to start like a champ. You don't have to worry about that at all. Not plugged in. Every time. Normally I would load salt with the T320, but we got it at the winter shop right now. I guess it said we don't need no glow plugs today. It's not that cold, it's like 32, 33 degrees right now, so. All right, one thing I do before I ever load salt in the salter during a storm, I turn the salter on, make sure everything's running. All right, looks good. Because if you load your salter completely full and then it doesn't work, then you got a problem. You got to get all the salt out. We got this thing backed in here stay nice and dry now i have some other stuff to take care of <sighs> daryl just text me now all right now i'm going to run to the hardware store i need to get a couple five gallon pails so i have some college students shovel and salt sidewalks for me as long as i keep stuff stocked and ready for them they take care of it so they do the shoveling the snow blowing and the salting of all the private sidewalks this is our first significant snowfall. We had a couple little ones. I mean, this isn't gonna be a big snowstorm, obviously, but I think we'll get three or four inches. City plow trucks are busy, busy, busy. Those guys will be working long hours today and tonight. It is coming down. It is just smashing the side of my face, going inside my ear. It's not pleasant, but I still love it. Hello. Yep. Thank you. This is for you. Oh. Merry Christmas. Everything's here for them that they need. Shovels, salt buckets, snowblower, gas. This one's not mine. So they should be all set for tonight. All right, I'm just pulling into 52's. My favorite restaurant. I was just listening to a little clay and buck. And it looks like the snow is starting to slow down a little bit. It's only 11.44 right now. And it's not snowing nearly as heavily as it was before. So I'm gonna grab some lunch. I gotta do some stuff at home real quick. And then I think I'm gonna call in Daryl and start cleaning up. I'm gonna take a look at the radar and make a good decision. It's always tricky. You guys that plow snow, it's always a, like, I don't know. It's always a tough decision when to start. There's been, I don't know how many times, how many times it's so frustrating. It looks like the radar's clear, or about to clear, so you start plowing, you get everything all cleaned up, and then something just pops back on the radar and covers everything that you just did. There's been times where I wanted to put my fist through, just being honest, through the windshield of a skid loader or a truck or whatever, 
uh, after you're you know you've been plowing for 20 some hours or whatever and you're finally in your mind you're like yes finally the last round and then it snows again and your mind already isn't right because you're tired and you just feel like screaming i've been there i don't know how many times dozens and dozens of times uh i'll take the salad your med salad yep all right no olives i'll take the clam chowder because you know that's my favorite i know Big tipper, you see this guy? He must be loaded. Right, honey. Man, he throws around tens like it's a penny. You should not. <laughs> I've seen you put bigger <laughs> Once in a while. Go ahead, go ahead. You're here first. You worked on submarines? Yeah. That sounds really interesting. Oh, it was fun. Like living in a dumpster. <laughs> I've never heard it described that way. <laughs> All the toilets are uh, basically outhouses, well, not houses, but uh, porta potties. Yeah. And then when they're full, they pressurize the tank and blow it overboard, but there is leakage. Sure. Smell and, oh. and then somebody gets the Golden Flapper Award. They open the toilet to flush it. Yeah. While they have the tank pressurized. So it'll blow up. Yeah, right in your face. <laughs> I went out five times uh, for three months at a time. Yeah. And five times in a row, somebody did. Somebody does it. Yeah. It's like, mm. <laughs> That's pretty bad. It's yeah. Oh, it looks like we're in a little bit of a lull right now. We're not actually done. We got one more heavy blast. We're going to stick with two o'clock. All right, so it is quarter to one. It looks like the snow is really slowed down now. I'm gonna go up and start pushing some snow. Start a little early. I still can't get a hold of Daryl again. He texted me earlier and he said he'd be ready and now I can't get a hold of him. So I'm gonna go start. I assume he's probably gonna call at some point, but I have plenty of time. It's not really a problem, not stressful at all. Finally, Daryl's calling me. Hello. Hello. Why do you sound so tired? Have you been sleeping all day? No, I think my ears are so clogged. Uh, your ears are clogged? Yeah. That's why you can't hear your phone ring? Yeah. Go to the yard and get the truck and bring it over here by the Okay. Uh put the I already put salt in it, just put the cover on it before you leave. On the salter, put the salter cover on. All right. And I'll see you over there. Okay. Yep. Yeah, bye. All right. Well, Daryl's on his way now, so that's good. Man, he frustrates me. <sighs> I can't live with him, and I can't live without him. All right. Well, this isn't too bad. We'll get this all cleaned up right now and work around. There's a lot of cars to work around. But in a couple few hours, this entire parking lot will be filled with cars. There will not be one spot available once our program starts. So I got to get it cleaned up before the traffic starts. So we're going to fire up the S750. This is a brand new Snow Wolf. It's never pushed a single snowflake yet. Same as the old one. There's my old one there. And I sold my eight footer and I bought a new 10 footer. These are really, really good plows. You know what I'm really interested in? So they have the Snow of Quattro plow. So it has adjustable wings. They're hydraulic wings where you can, you can put it in a scoop position and then you can also put the wing back and back drag and have some containment when you're back dragging, which would be awesome for the driveways that I do. So I'm really curious how, to how those work. This should start right up. I'm gonna turn that heat down. switch when I hit left the plow goes the wrong way so we're gonna have to 
switch those out, but we'll deal with it for today. happening is the rubber cutting edge on the wings is hitting the pavement first before the steel so it's grabbing and it's chattering the whole plow so once you go on an angle when these come forward they they snag the asphalt and it's making it really really difficult like I said they should have had this a little bit higher quarter inch or something just so the steel hits it first These wings are coming off. Unfortunately, we cannot use these wings right now. Which is a bummer, because they sure do help. If Daryl's not at the yard yet, I'm gonna have him grab the circular saw. That way we can trim, trim the cutting edge on these. Took the wings off, now it'll be perfectly fine, but can't contain the snow. What'd you say? The freeway was backed up on the way here. I guess Daryl Jr. is coming too. He's gonna keep me company. Yes? What are you carrying? A pig's foot. Oh, that's disgusting. Stitching. Oh, sutures. Yeah, suturing. All right. Nice. Is that, it's medical missions? Yeah, it was medical missions. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty gross, to be honest, but. Yeah, it's sort of weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. <laughs> there's a seminary here and a ministry college, and there's a medical missions class right now so that's what that's all about <laughs> Daryl's here uh, 
not. You don't need to salt anything else right now. No, it doesn't make no sense because they're going to push snow from there out here and I got to plow this again. Okay. Just leave this alone. Just go on the other skid steer and um, put the big plow on and start doing the driveways at the condos okay. and don't hit anything. You want junior to plow with you? Junior? No, definitely not. No, <laughs> no, no. You can't run up there and just go up real fast and hook it and flip it. Try it. Try it. It'll work. Nah, you ain't gonna get it with that thing. Those tires are garbage. I'll just take the plow off and I'll bring it down. These tires are slicks. See how Junior's doing. How's it going? Good, you fall asleep yet? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Daryl's over here plowing the condos. He's got one, two, three, four. He's working on the fifth driveway right now. Looks like he's actually doing a pretty nice job. slippery when you go over this just turn the plow just a little bit it'll glide over Start hitting this big horseshoe here. There's a bunch of them in here. And I got a bunch of driveways down over that way too. Six or seven, I think. Almost fell, but not quite.
start doing all the driveways okay. all around here. Uh -huh. So once you finish the, finish these driveways, do the road. Okay. I got that whole part already of the road. Okay. Do the road and then put the put the little plow on here and then go do all the sidewalks. Okay. And when you plow the city sidewalks through here, don't leave the crumbs on the driveway. You got to turn around and get all the crumbs and get it really nice. Exactly. Here comes Mike with his four wheeler. How's it going? Good, how are you, Ryan? Good. That's pretty easy. Yeah. It's only only a couple inches. Yeah, about two inches if that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. It's heavy uh, stuff. It is really heavy. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised what that can push. Oh, that can push a lot more than this. Yeah, I my first time ever with a pow on one. We had two sportsman 700s and then we had two sportsman 800s. Okay. And man, we used to plow some snow with those. Really? I mean, they have limitations. You'll eventually get stuck. Yeah. You know, but they can do more than you think. Really? Especially when you wind it up. Yeah. And smash it. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That's a manual transmission. Is it? One. Yeah. Is it a full manual with no, a clutch? It's one of those yeah, yeah. Yep. You go up yep. And clutchless. So. Yep, clutch, a clutchless manual. Yeah, those are pretty sweet. I'm gonna take off, Mike. I'll Thanks. talk to you. I'll talk to you later. these kind of driveways here that's where I thought that the, the ultra plow quattro would come in handy where you could just flip the wings backwards and back drag these out right into the street and then turn it into a pusher position and push it right out of here I'd love to give it a shot driveway I did all these driveways in here I didn't show everything obviously it gets kind of monotonous you know one driveway after the next uh, Daryl's finishing up the condos he's gonna hit all the city sidewalks we have a ton of city sidewalks around here I'm gonna jump in the, the f-350 with Daryl jr. we're gonna go salting right. did you plow that building right there yeah you did yeah because I forgot to even look over yeah. there so everything's done now except the city sidewalks. Okay. I gotta clean some of these spaces where people move and I'm gonna go salting with Junior. All right. All right, let's warm this up because I'm gonna go salting with you. Oh, we gotta salt everything. I got a couple more spots to plow and then I'm gonna come in here. All right. I'm gonna go salt the driveways over there first because I don't have any backup lights on here right now. Remember the switch is bad? Yeah, I had to do that for this plow. What is that sound? This is sound? such a white. <sighs> I should have figured. Daryl ran over a cone. What a surprise. Starting to snow again. Yeah. No, not yet. <laughs> we don't want it to snow again. I was just talking about that earlier. <laughs> Seems like every time it stops snowing and you're all done, something pops on the radar and everything gets covered again. <laughs> I can't believe it just starts snowing again like this. I know. 
This is how your dad plows. Oh. Are you serious, man? <laughs> I'm gonna make him come back up here and clean this. Look at how your dad left this. I know. Man, that's not proper. Oh. Come on. That's sloppy. It really is. Now it's blowing in off the lake. Oh, yeah, the whole storm had passed through. It went from the south to the north. And now it, now we're getting lake effect. It's coming off of Lake Michigan. See that? Oh. And you know where it's heaviest is right where we are, right there. See the dark? Yeah. That's exactly where we are. <laughs> Look at the driveways are getting covered already. Probably have to plow everything again. I know. You got my phone? Yeah. I was wondering where it was. I know it's coming out like that's dogs now. I know. Here I thought we just whipped it and we were done. Everything was perfectly clean. Salt it, go home, eat dinner. No. Not today. Not today, Junior. Nope. busy here tonight. Everybody's getting here already. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> yes. We can't be mad. It's almost Christmas. Mm -hmm. I can't be angry just because it keeps snowing. So this parking lot is about to fill to capacity. So I'm salting here last minute, get some fresh salt on everything as the cars pull in. See the horses? Look at the horses. Horses are here. All right. All right, Junior, that's a lot of salt back here. That should do the trick. It's the best we can do for now. That's fine. Jump in the back. Did you watch the video when I gave my mom the car? Oh yeah, I watched it for the Did you? Did you cry? Tell me the truth. No, I didn't. Come on. <laughs> do you even have a heart? I do. I don't know. You might have one, it might be black. Come on. I mean, I almost tried to do that happen. Oh, almost? <laughs> okay. I don't even want to start shoveling yet. No, I want to wait until it's done. It doesn't make any like... sense. Somebody said we should build a victory off-road truck. Oh, that would be cool. That would be very cool. Yes, snow buckets are okay, man, until you hit something. Oh, yeah. And you go right through the windshield. Yep. They're only good for moving snow. Oh, a lot of guys plow with them. A lot of guys plow with them. little after six o'clock right now dinner time the snow is it's kind of turned to rain now hey I know it's like a mist I know thank you 
Oh, look at Daryl's ordering already. <laughs> He's already up there ordering. Hey again, George. Take all my money today. You watch the video, yeah? You had all of us girls crying. <laughs> That's good. You were great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hit the video. Mom's car. Yeah, he's up for Academy Award for he that. He was. He did a really good job. Yeah. Thank you. I know. Soup, the patty milk, the drink. Us, you have the 260. So you can purchase the coffee. The senior meal? <laughs> she, she must have noticed your teeth. <laughs> I'm asking, do you want the senior meal or the coffee? I don't know what the difference is. I don't know what the difference is either. Mike's here. Are you following me around? Maybe. <laughs> I saw you like five times today already. Yeah. Man. Uh, uh, did you see Mike's here? I didn't notice until you walked over there. Mike's here. Oh, I can follow him. Yeah, he's right there. I think he's following me. I think so. It seems like it. I guess it ripped the whole, you know, the pedestal up top where you'd climb up. Yeah. I guess it ripped that down and actually folded it on top of the drum. Man. Yeah. You actually fired for that? Did you hit the bridge? Come on, it was an accident. There's signs, there's signs everywhere that tell you lower that. Yeah. Yeah, you got to realize you're in a tall truck. Yeah. I mean, that has to be in the back of your mind at all times. Yeah, and there's even a giant sticker at the top left of the windshield that says 13.3. Well, we're gonna go back and check things over again. It's still coming down a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't stick again. We'll see. I don't know what to do with the lots. I think the church lot's probably gonna be okay. I don't know about the driveways. I told you it was gonna be full. It's packed. And it snowed. If it wouldn't have snowed, it would have been bonkers. When you come back, just see the, how the driveways are. I don't even think you plowed in front of this garage door at all. Look at that. You totally missed in front of that garage door. You didn't plow well, I think that's where you came and talked to me. You lost my thought. Oh, so it was my fault. Yeah. I don't know. If there's still this much snow on it, you're just going to have to do everything again. Yep, that's fine. Whatever it needs. I'm not coming back, though, so... All right, see you later, Junior. Hey, dude, so. All right, I'm not going to this tonight. Well, look, at, look at how I'm dressed, man. <laughs> Come on, Junior. Okay, All right, I'll see you later. Uh, All right, see ya. see ya. Call me when you're going back out. I want to know All right. what time and what you're doing. All right. Don't forget, I want to know. All right. All right, I'm taking off. I'm done for the day. Daryl's gonna come back and finish up by the condos. So that'll be it for our first, our first decent snowfall, if you wanna call it that. The only thing that made it a little bit more difficult is it started snowing right when we finished again. But that's all right. 